plaintiff, Grant Adams, says after he started dating the defendant, they made a pact to lose weight together. Grant claims the defendant failed to uphold her end of the pact, and as a result, he lost interest in her. Grant is suing his ex today for breaking his garbage disposal. Defendant Chris Ann Bruton says Grant claims she ate too much Mexican food and didn't look good naked, then broke up with her in a text message. Chris Ann feels she's only partially responsible for the garbage disposal. Start with you. Usually in a relationship, Your Honor, it's the guy who wants to play video games and sit on the couch and snack and not, not really do anything, but in this case, it was actually her. We met and dated for a few months, and during that time, I actually found out that she had a gym membership, so I got one myself, and her and I actually made a pact to go to the gym and lose weight together, since at the time, her and I were actually overweight. So as time went by, she slowly and slowly stopped going, and she was unhappy with the results that she was getting. So when her and I discussed it, she would get upset with me, and she would get defensive with me, like I was the one that was causing her problems. How would the discussions come up? Um, if I was going to go and she wasn't going to go with me, and I would ask her, you know, are you going to go, you know, later? Are you going to see your trainer? You know, what's your plan for later this week? How many times do you think you're going to? Yeah, but go did this you week? ever discuss with a woman uh, <laughs> her weight? Not directly, not oh, okay. at first. Did I mean, you even uh, talk around it? How do you talk around that? Do you know, first of all, that women get offended when the man talks about their weight? <laughs> Maybe you don't even know that. Huh? I know, I know. Oh, I know. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure that, the, you know, that you didn't do that because maybe that's why you're here. I don't tend to be the most tactful person. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Um, when we would go out together, she would get extra salsa, extra guacamoles, <laughs> extra tortillas. When we went out, go out with You didn't friends. say anything to her about that, did you? I might have. In, <laughs> in relation to her weight. Regardless of whatever it was that she was eating, she was still not following through with going with me. You just said she was eating too much. She was, yeah, she was eating too and much. And you mentioned it to her. I did. And that's why I keep trying to, uh, you don't seem to understand. You keep trying to act as if that's all right, and I keep telling you that that's not all right. You certainly don't imply to a woman that she is overweight or that you want her to lose weight, or that she's eating too much, or look at her and tell her she needs to go to the gym. I understand. Go ahead. What else you want me to know? Oh, I'm going to skip the other part that I was. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Say thanks for the pep talk. Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> I'll charge you uh, tomorrow. <laughs> on my tab. Um, so, you know, after some time went by, I just discovered that she wasn't the kind of person that I wanted to be with. I felt that she didn't have any character and she didn't have any integrity, so I decided to break things off. Mm -hmm. But actually, since then, I have managed to lose uh, over 55 pounds. Okay. I have a buddy. He was perhaps. 40 years old, 45, mm -hmm. and he would always criticize his ladies, and it wouldn't last long after that about their weight. You gotta lose weight, you gotta lose weight, you too. So he'd have women for about six, 12 months at the most. Then he'd go and get another woman and badger her about her weight. He's 70 now and alone. <laughs> and needs some help. <laughs> go ahead, you tell me what's going on. All right, well, first of all, Your Honor, Grant basically broke up with me because I ate too much Mexican food. He did, in fact, tell me, I have a whole email right here about how he told me that I ate too much, how many calories it was, how much working out I needed to do to lose those calories and burn them off of my body. He texted my best friend, who is also my witness, at Christmas time and asked her if there was a nice way to tell me that I do not look good naked. Read some of the stuff. All right. Texted. Well, I'm going to read you my favorite parts. I don't keep track, but it doesn't feel like you're going to the gym three or four times a week, but we're not keeping track. Mm. He goes on to say that I overeat, and I'm not going to bore you with that, but about all of the calories and the tortillas and the rice and all of this stuff. <laughs> Tells me that I shouldn't grab an extra fry off of a friend's plate from you time to time. You shouldn't grab a fry off somebody he else's plate. Then <laughs> goes on to talk about how, because he is very insecure, and he goes on to talk about how he 
wanted to be the kind of person that people would walk by and go, dang, look at that guy. He looks good. What is he doing? I want to be like him. He also said that he wanted to be that rare combination of sexy and intelligence that is missing from the world today. <laughs> Oh, right. But if you would like to read this, it's very entertaining. There are other parts in here, but yes, he was very insulting about those things. However, I am very confident, and although I may be insecure at times, like all women, I don't need this guy to tell me that I'm beautiful or to validate for that for me. Right. I know that for myself. You're right. And I Just also so know that know. there are other men I'm, that appreciate yeah, curvy women. Absolutely. And I know you are one of them. There you go. That's right. <laughs> you are too? All right. I was out at the wedding this week and my wife was with me. She said, hey, Judge, take a picture with me. I heard you like healthy women. I said, you heard right. Come on, let's take a picture. <laughs> and my wife didn't have a problem with it. Go ahead. I um, just also want to say that I didn't just come home and not go work out. I work 50 hours a week. I go to school full time. Like, I worked out when I could, but Grant works from home. He sleeps during the day in his office. He, That's not true. I don't do okay. that. I, when I do that, I go to the gym every day, even if I did. Computer. He gets off at three, and that's great that he has yeah. more time in his schedule to go, and I think that's great. If that was his goal and he followed through, good for him. And I think it's about health more than it is about appearance for the most part. If you don't have a guy who is attracted to you based on the way you are, there's somebody that is attracted to you. So there you have it. Lead this woman along. Get you a stick if that's what you want. <laughs> well, and then, Get you a stick. And then. The final straw in that was that he sent me a text message after we were at the gym together, after he was being very rude, and I told him, don't bother coming over. He sent me a text and said, by the way, I'm going to start dating you or continue to date you and start dating other women. So that was the very end That's of it. That's how you all broke yes. up? Yes. All right. All right, sir. You're suing uh, her about property right. damage. Uh, what is that property damage you're suing for? Um, near the end of December, I was getting, I got a text from her letting me know that my garbage disposal was busted and that she wanted me to get some uh, liquid drain the, cleaner from the store. The garbage disposal Wasn't was working. Busted. So I picked some up for her and uh, the next day I actually went out of town and uh, during the time I was gone, she actually let me know that the garbage disposal was completely broken, that um, she put more of the draining fluid down there to, to try to clear it up, and it actually smoked, and she tried to use uh, a uh, plunger to try to plunge it, and that didn't help, so it was pretty much just completely ruined. Um, she let me know also while I was gone that she was going to try to get in touch with somebody to get it fixed, and that uh, since she broke it, that she would be the one to cover all the charges revolving around it. Um, I came back and uh, there was somebody that was ready to come check it out and they told me that the full cost was going to be $639. So uh, I gave her a call and let her know what the cost was going to be and uh, she said that she was okay with it. And I actually called her a few minutes later asking her uh, a, a semi-related question and she said again that it was okay. Um, so what she did was write a check uh, and signed it and she said don't spend more than $200 and that you can put the balance on your credit card. So she paid with the check, the, uh, the 200 bucks, and then I ended up putting the rest on my credit card, and we agreed by the end of April that she would have it paid off by then. Yeah, she has not, obviously, the balance. No, I've got yeah. it. So what actually happened is that I was cleaning out his refrigerator before he was going out of town for up to 10 days to, for Christmas, and I clogged his garbage disposal. So I called him because he was already going to Home Depot for something else, and he, I said, you might want to pick up that stuff you told me that you get because I clogged your garbage disposal. He came back to the house. He poured, I think, about half I of it into. Of let her fi let her he finish. poured about half of it into the garbage disposal. Then we left and went to my house, and he stayed the night there. The next morning, I took him to the airport, and he was gone. He asked me. He left me a key to his house, and he asked me to go back over and check on the garbage disposal. About seven to eight days after the he initially poured the stuff in there, I went over there to check, and I was also checking on his cat, and he, um, I texted him and said, your motor is working, but the stuff is still sitting in the sink, so I think that it's clogged. I started calling around for declogging services. It would have been about $120, and then he texted me, or uh, 
called or texted, I don't remember which, he asked me if I would go back over and pour the rest of that declogging fluid down his sink. So I did. The entire thing burned out on me and all of this fluid came out onto his hardwood floors. So then I, I said, well now I can- put it in the garbage disposal. Where did you tell her to put it then? To put, there, it was, it's two sinks. There's a disposal on this side and there's a regular sink on this side. Mm -hmm. If the whole thing is clogged, then she should put it on this side to get rid of the clog mm -hmm. and leave the motor alone because that stuff's not good for the did motor. Did you put some on? Uh, in here, yeah. Okay. I didn't put any in the actual disposal part and, of this. Right, so did you tell her put it in the disposal? No. Okay. Okay, so let me clarify. I never poured it on the right hand side. I poured it on the left hand side where you put Same food down the garbage disposal. Okay. I don't know if there's a difference between what's on either other side. One takes the food and has like a hole and you turn the thing on and it makes a noise. I'm assuming that's the garbage disposal side. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's the side that I poured it on. The same side I watched him pour it on the night that he initially and you poured say it. That wasn't where you poured it on? No, you shouldn't put that kind of stuff in a garbage disposal unit. It'll ruin I everything. I agree. She says that she saw you do it. She is full of crap. Oh, she didn't see me do anything. So anyway, he came home and I told him that I had contacted this place and their deal was that they could either come out and diagnose the problem for $39 or they would fix the problem and drop the $39 fee. So I have an email where I tell Grant that that's exactly what they're planning to do and that I would leave the blank check and that he could write it for up to 200 because that's all I could afford, but that having done all the research, it shouldn't have cost more than about $200 because to do it yourself and buy a new garbage disposal would what have been $100. People, what did the people you sent, let's, let's go back to that, your repair person, what did they say it cost? They didn't. They, I actually say in here that they wouldn't give me an exact estimate because they didn't want to oh, so they under didn't repair overestimate. It? No, he ended up having them repair it for $639. The people you sent? Right. Also, Your Honor, by the way, I do have an email in which I told Grant I felt like at a minimum we were both half responsible for the damages to his garbage disposal. Your Honor, I actually have text messages that we exchanged where she was telling me that she's going to give me money and that she keeps forgetting and that... Um, the next time that she would see me on this date, that she would actually give me money that she budgeted for that I actually helped her with. All right, and did she say how much? Because she says she uh, believed you all should pay half, and w if it were half, it would be something to the extent of 320. She didn't actually mention that until after we broke up. We verbally agreed that she would pay the balance that I had to add my credit card. All right, so I'll grant you the remainder of the half. 639 divided by two? 320. 320 and minus to 200. 200. Right. And your balance then is 120, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. You Honestly, like, you agreed enjoy to pay your to new here. body and your life, and Sarah and I are glad that we will never see you again. And That's fine with me. That doesn't you're the homeowner, so you're in charge take of some your garbage. She wasn't you renting a, place, a room in my house. She was watching it. It's she your did house. the damage. You she had to pay for it. Because you're the homeowner and the I owner of the new $639 garbage disposal. You knew what you should have done. It. I will. It works fine. <laughs>